back to my channel. It's Caitlin here. Please excuse the noise in the background of my dad in the shower. If you can hear that, I do apologise, but I cannot help that. I'm doing a get ready with me today. I'm going to an event tonight and I thought I would be a little bit Christmassy. I've gone for like a super bronzy, goldeny kind of coppery eye more coppery, bronzy, and I'm just feeling kind of festive, so I'd film it, I filmed my hair as well, and I will show you my outfit as well. So, it's kind of like a full get ready with me Christmas edition. Yeah, hope you enjoy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like this. Comment if you want to comment, let me know what you're doing for Christmas, if you're going to any parties or any events to celebrate, and I'm going to stop talking and get into the video. Let's go. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to be taking a concealer. This one is by Rimmel. I'm really sorry, I don't think they do this one anymore, but I do love it. Any sort of like pot concealer that's quite a lot lighter than your skin tone, you use that on your eyes to set a nice base. Then for our eyeshadow palette today, I'm going to be primarily using this one, which is the Huda Beauty one, and I'm just taking a base shade first of all to set that concealer. Then taking this one on the corner, I'm going to be using that as a transition shade. I'm being fairly messy because as you can see I've not done my face makeup so I can wipe it away later. Then for the slightly darker one next door, I'm doing pretty much the exact same thing, not taking that shade as high up. Using a fluffy brush and blending it all together. Then going even darker with this one here, I'm just patting that on the very outside, not really dragging it anywhere but just blending it out nicely into the transition shades. Then I'm going back in with my concealer and I'm going to be cutting out a cut crease, half cut crease kind of style using a little concealer brush. I love this, it's the easiest way to firstly get your eyeshadow to pop and also to easily draw out a cut crease as well. So once I have defined that, I'm going to be taking the glittery shade here from the palette using my finger and just packing on that shimmery shade. Also for the slightly inner corners where I want to be a bit more detailed, I just took a brush and just blended that over the top just to get a little bit more precision. Going back in with the kind of middle transition shade, I'm using that to blend the shimmery glitter with the darker shades. And that's us done for eyes at the moment. I'm just wiping away any fallout on my face. Then for primer, I'm going to be using this one from Revlon. It's kind of running out, so I screwed off the top and I'm blending that on to my face. Then I'm taking this Body Shop Moisturising Mist and I'm putting that on to my Beauty Blender, using that to blend in the LA Girl Foundation. I really like using the Body Shop Mist because it hydrates your skin, it also obviously wets your Beauty Blender. Using the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick, I'm going to be using this. It's actually not that much darker than my skin, but it just kind of helps start a little bit of contour. I also use it to blend my face makeup into my neck neck because usually I have fake tanned and it's a bit darker. Then for concealer I'm using the LA Girl concealer and it's quite a lot lighter than my foundation but I'm just taking time to blend that all in and make sure it worked. Then using the RCMA powder I'm going to be patting that on to my concealed areas and then also just dusting it all over my face to set in the foundation and concealer. Using this bronzer from Elizabeth Arden. It doesn't actually look that dark, but see when you put it on your skin, it is such a lovely contour shade to use. It makes your skin look super glowy, and I do love it. So I'm using that to contour my face. Then taking the Lottie Blush Crush Blusher, and I'm putting that on the apples of my cheeks. It's quite an orangey shade, but I thought it went well with the eyes. For highlighter, I'm using this Vivid Bates Highlighter from Revolution. This is so light, and when I put it on, I was like, oops, it's a little bit too light, but go with it. I also put it down my nose and on my cupid's bow. Then I went back in with some bronzer and also contoured my nose a little bit because I like to do that when I'm making effort. Then using this eyeliner from the BAM, I am sorry again it's gone out of focus, don't know what was going on. Just used that to create a wing on both of my eyes. And then going back in with like the transition shades we used, I'm just doing that underneath my eyes to blend out and balance the look up. I always do this, I love putting eyeshadow under my eyes, I think it makes so much more definition and makes your eyeshadow just look complete. 
and then with a black coal liner, a pencil liner, I put that on my waterline. Then taking the shimmery glittery shade, which is like a super bright gold colour, I just pop that on the inner corners. For lashes, I use these ones, which are the Ardell Wispies, and pop them on, off camera. Then I've come back once I've done my lashes and I'm going to do my hair. So I used my Numi curling wand, it's the 3 in 1 one, so it's got three different uh, barrels that you can attach and I use the middle one, usually, that's the one I'm using today. So I just go like taking different pieces, I didn't want a super defined curl, super curly hair, so I just kind of let my hair down, didn't do any sectioning, just took chunks and curled it and they're fairly thick chunks as you can probably see, hopefully you can see that. And what I do is I always leave the front two sections of my kind of fringe to do them last. As you can see I'm doing them here and it just means if you do them last you do them together and you can make them even, which helps. Then also I sometimes just go in and pick tiny little bits and curl them to get a little bit more volume. For lips, I'm using a matte lip cream from The Body Shop. The shade will be down in the description because I can't remember off the top of my head. And then I'm using a golden lip gloss from Dose of Colour and I'm patting that on the top to really give my lips a bit of shimmer. So this is my outfit. I'm wearing these stripy orange and blue pants which are from Femme Lux, I believe. They are so stretchy. They're a little bit see-through. I think you can see my pants a little bit, but in the dark, in an event, you cannot see them, so it's fine. My watch is from Daniel Wellington. If you want to use my code, you can. And then my ring is from a boutique store which I got for my birthday. And then my clutch, I think, is from ASOS. My top is from Fashion Nova. So this is my overall outfit. I'm wearing heeled boots because it's a winter and my boots are from Dorothy Perkins, if you're wondering. So this is the completed hair, makeup, and I'm also wearing my outfit in this clip as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really did love this makeup. I'm not somebody who likes to go super, super, super heavy with makeup, but for me, this was pretty dramatic for me, and I really loved the bronzy, coppery shades, which went well with my orange trousers. So this is the finished makeup and hair. So this is the completed makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my hair, just curled it. It's gonna probably fall out throughout the day or throughout the evening even. So I'm happy with that. I like it being a bit looser, not so much like super, super curly. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.